Striker's just gonna try and hold the cart. Okay. So that gives Super an ultimate for the retake. And then Brigida's coming up on Rally, which is gonna be disastrous if he gets it. And then Striker and Sinatra as well. So no big ultimates except for Trill coming up. And even that's gonna be a pretty hard one to actually uh, get going here. So the, the Initiator ultimate, I don't think you're gonna have Super use his ultimate, but Striker's probably gonna go into the back line and try and frag something like right off the bat. Uh, Choi Hoban's gonna be on the high ground, so I like the, I really like this kind of split positioning. I don't remember Yimong had a term for it, but Choi Hoban here is kind of like the same thing you see from Divas holding these high grounds, because if you push underneath them, which you kind of have to do here, you don't really have a way to try and push him down unless you send like a Lucio up there, but then your Lucio has a chance of getting rocked. So this becomes really, really difficult to push because Choi Hoban's just gonna be able to put so much damage and pressure onto the DPS and the supports of the backline behind the actual payload, so going to be really, uh, really quite challenging here. But I would expect Sinatra to try and be pretty aggressive here. Uh, maybe doing like a, just one rotation onto the front lines and get some shields and the small charge here. But let's see how they go for it. Okay, so they're, like, the all of Fuel sees this, and they're just going to flush him off the high ground. So flush is just kind of like a rotation, specifically not be, like, a flush is you when you want to rotate through uh, position just to clear the opponent out of it, not because it's useful to you. You're just flushing them out of there, and then you'll see them drop pretty much immediately here. So, Gamsu's up there as well, and then they drop once again. So, Striker's in behind. Slam finds Gamsu. Wait, did Slam find Gamsu? Or was that just a rock? Let's look at that again. So, flush. And drop. Yep, it does land Gansu. Okay. Back up. He's still alive. So strike or Sinatra is trying to fight close in the back line. He does have his meteor strike. Lands the bunch. He's gonna have to use it. That is correct. Okay, so striker gets taken up by Gansu. Architect's still on this high ground there. So they drop the nano on Super and against Trill, who's still anteed. Uh, that is a bad day, and they don't really have anything that they can do to try and save him. Uh, Gamsu's also anteed because Architect's on that high ground, pretty much uninterrupted. Like unless you're having Decay poke away at him. Where is Decay? Finish off with Joy Hoban. Okay. So let's look at that again. Because that went from pretty even, if only almost in Fuel's favor, to very much all of the Fuel being dead. Another punch in. Doha survives that. A nice blocks. Clothes are still alive, still alive, still alive. Striker gets frozen and taken out by Gamsu. Wait, Choi Oban was sitting there like the entire time. <laughs> oh man, Choi Oban. Why are you so good? Okay, so let's look at what Choi Oban does after this. Rushed and moves. Who's gonna stay over here? Just so much damage output here. Hello. Nice plays, nice plays. So, like, really. The, uh, that was a lot more in favor of the Shock than the uh, Oasis game was. Like, the Oasis one was a lot closer. This one was Shock really, really felt in control, and it looked like they had better compositions and better plans specifically on the third point. Like, the first and second looked close, but third was, like, eh, um, not the greatest there. And then, what was I talking about? You're really seeing the benefit of these kind of, like, spread out compositions. So, New York was doing it a lot, especially with Jonak. Uh, Gladiators were doing it with space, and then Choi Hoban was doing a great job, especially on that um, uh, Sigma there. But these kind of spread out angles are really doing a great job. So Fuel probably, you know, they only had five seconds left there, so it would have been pretty difficult to rush uh, Choi Hoban down. Um, I don't think impossible, but chasing Choi Hoban off the point, I'm not sure if Choi Hoban would have done that if it was a different situation, like if there was more than five seconds. Um, I don't know if he would have done that. I'm actually really, really curious. Because um, there is always the kind of potential that them trying to chase down Choi Hoban on the edge there does spread 
the fuel out and shock is able to capitalize on that so maybe they were kind of banking on that either like right so let's take a look at that actually Come over here. So he's going onto this high ground so could the fuel have chased Troy Hoban okay yeah so not really you know strikers they've already set up basically this triple angle right so let's go back just a little bit Right, so this is kind of probably one of the worst situations you could be in. Like, Striker's got this angle, and then you have Architect and Moth kind of using this angle, especially with, like, Sinatra as well. And then Choi oban has got this angle, right? So they're going to be dropping onto the payload. Like, if you wanted to do this, maybe a safer spot would have been to go in here or something like that and play in this location instead of trying to play behind the payload, which would have been more traditional. You know, they probably didn't have a scout on Striker. But pushing on Choi Hoban, five seconds left, stringing off your DPS. Uh, like, you've already dropped both your shields off the high ground. You can't stay there in the first place. But um, maybe, just maybe, like, you have the May, they have the Doom and the Reaper, so they're going to be way worse at kind of these enclosed uh, areas compared to you. You know, it's not going to give the, the McCree as much work, uh, room to work, but if Striker or Sinatra kind of try and push in there, the Flash is a pretty worthy... Um, deterrent especially since Troy Hoban is on the Sigma instead of the Diva. But uh yeah, so this is this is like classic triple angle. Drop. And then they get split. Like they don't get like they do get split, but where is so Crimzo's the one back there. How did Crimzo end up there? Did he just fade back there? So they're gonna go up onto the high ground as well to get rid of Troy Hoban. Yeah, so he just fades out of there because he sees the punch coming. So yeah, they wanted to drop, but got kind of split because Crimson faded away and Doha got punched into the next time zone. So, um, but yeah, overall, Shock looked pretty good. I like the plays. 